although there have been several countries, namely um, of course Australia, uh, Thailand, and Cambodia that have uh, done very well in terms of getting to the 1990-90 goals. Um, for the most part, many countries in Asia and the Pacific um, uh, are not doing as well when it comes to uh, having you know 90% of people tested, 90% um, of, of those who are living with HIV uh, on antiretroviral therapy and 90% with undetectable viral levels. There are many reasons for this, of course, um, but uh, we really do need to, to do better. One of the things we do know that, that in Asia and the Pacific is that many who present for treatment do so at a later stage of illness, um, uh, you know, with CD4 counts, um, you know, averaging in, in the low 200s to 300s. And that indicates that, you know, um, uh, they, they're not, either they're not being tested early or they're presenting late because of, you know, fear of, of stigma and discrimination. The economy has taken a, a bashing from COVID. However, as, as we've learned over the last four decades, you know, if we don't adequately fund prevention programs and we don't adequately fund treatment programs, then the outcome could be worse and in the long run uh, could even be more costly. The impact of, of COVID pandemic on programs as well as, as to individuals has been large. Uh, people have not been able to, to receive antiretroviral therapy, for instance, uh, when uh, areas are under lockdown and, and you know, uh, treatment services have been disrupted, ART deliveries uh, have been disrupted. I think we, we, we need to learn from, and, and those events are unfortunate, but we need to learn from, from those um, disruption and find ways. And, and I think um, digital telehealth, telemedicine, um, alternative ways of delivering were things that many groups uh, adapted uh, around the region and around the world to overcome uh, those disruptions. We have so many tools. Uh, prevent, uh, particularly prevention tools, but also uh, treatment tools. And uh, we need to keep pushing, um, you know, governments and relevant international bodies to ensure that these tools get to the people who most need them.